Around the latch, you also notice a few stray wires from an explosive booby trap. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our friend Ivy here. And she's going to try to remove the booby trap. We have a 10% critical failure chance. Let's watch it blow up. Yep. <laughs> oh, come on. You call that a critical success. Give me a break. It blew up. Copy, Echo One. Echo One, your recent progress merits a... Congratulations, Echo. Alrighty. Well, at least she got healed <laughs> from, from the booby... Well, no, she didn't... Oh, that's Valentine. Right. Oh, here we go. Alrighty. Alrighty. I want in those things. Please. And thank you. Now it's locked. Val. Okay, let's grab everybody. Since the booby trap's already been set off. What is it today? Well, at least she didn't do a critical failure. Yet. <laughs> One of those days, you know. Oh, I'm shocked. Grenades? Really? Really? Grenades? Oh, that's awesome. The grenades? Or for a demolition person. <clears throat> That's the player to disarm. Well, it's demolitions. That that should mean grenades, right? I mean, it has to mean grenades. It's actually. Okay, let's see. Uh, which is it? Z? No. Uh. Hang on. I can look at the control. It was near the bottom, wasn't it? Uh, no, that was cha change fire mode. X. I, I want X. Oh, I'll return to game. A makeshift machete. Okay, so... Can we... Equip a secondary. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's ask everybody to reload. Just to make sure. Now that we have more ammo. Let's go back to Val. And with any luck, our better demolitions skill will help us not blow shit up so easily dark. It's really dark here. Okay. Lost inside the chest cavity, you also notice a cylindrical object giving off a faint blue glow. Might be a power source. It'll take some advanced knowledge of electrical engineering, but you could try to retrieve it. This muck is ankle deep. Yuck. This looks just like the thing that killed Ace. What was it doing here? The arm and leg have the same smooth plastic look as the towering robot you found where Ace was killed. Are they related? Alright. Um, what was that? It wasn't toaster. Was it computer? Zero percent. Impossible. 
It is impossible. Um, is it mechanical? No. Oops. Yes. Oops. Oh, that's not what I have to do. So it had to have been computer because it's the only one that's giving us. Another fucking roga robot. What the hell? A lifeless robot, seven foot tall. With metal and plastic legs, arms, torso, and head. Lies in pieces at the very end of the tunnel. It wasn't torn apart. It's been blown apart. There are blast marks on its metal parts, and its blast plastic skin is melted. The robot must have stepped on some kind of landmine as he entered the tunnel. Could there be more? Can we do it from here now? Maybe it's because we're too far... No. The tunnel, a tunnel made out of an outflow pipe. Flickering light bulbs are strung along the top of the pipe, and the bottom is floored with a layer of dirt and trash. Looks like a landmine was buried here. Yeah, all right. Uh, guys? No, come on, select everybody. I can't see if there's one person selected or everybody because of the, the stuff on the floor. <laughs> well, we just upped your, your skills, so let's see if you can do something about this landmine. 94% chance, easy. Well, that's what I thought about the outflow pipe for the house, too. Succeeded. This landmine has been disarmed. Everybody over here, please. I mean, there's got to be more of them, right? Oh, and there's a toaster. Let's see what Valentine finds stuck in the toaster. A miniature leg lamp. I thought it was going to say like a, a an actual lamp, <laughs> not a little tiny one. Oh, Angela leveled up. Well, let's call on it. Copy Echo One. This is Copy Echo One. Appreciate the update. Um, did we already do that? Did I just miss? No, she hasn't leveled up. Why did she have a plus on her? Maybe I didn't look at her after... Yeah, I must not have looked at her after we talk, looked at that statue. A massive pile of debris has accumulated at the airlock end of the outflow pipe. You'll have to find another way around if you want to pass. So my guess is it's that other door. So let's let's go back here. All right. 
Oh, I didn't see this text before. Once this was a red scorpion hideout, you can see the bed rolls and the charred wood of a campfire, as well as their graffiti on the wall and a small radio set in one corner. Now it's a slaughterhouse. The dismembered limbs and torsos of three, maybe four, red scorpion milita men are scattered about like toys flung by an angry child, and their blood paints the cave walls, floor, and even the ceiling. Whatever did this had inhuman strength, and it doesn't look like the scorpions gave up without a fight. There are empty shell casings and bullet holes everywhere. Interesting. Alrighty, let's go to the other... the other entrance, which was... somewhere. Where you looked at that. Was it over here? Yeah, it was here. Okay. I, I contemplated using a grenade on that pile of debris, but the flavor text kind of basically said that we should go around, so I'm going to assume that that's what we need to do. Without full water pressure from the rest of the facility, turning this valve is, valve is a futile exercise. Get those other valves open and you're in for business. These switches send power to individual rooms. It looks like a water and power control system. The blue lights show which rooms are receiving water and the yellow lights show which rooms are receiving power. An industrial grade circuit breaker. This box can reset the whole grid in the tunnels. All the lights go out and all the switches deactivate. It'll automatically flip if the system draws too much power. Uh, I want to look at the boxes. Let's see if there's anything else to look at here before we talk to the person. What's this? With the power out in this section, this airlock has sealed automatically. Okay, so there's a one and a two over the raised doors. Okay, so some of the rooms have water and power, so, and some of them just have power, or most all of them have power, it looks like. Interesting. Alrighty, well let's go talk to this individual. An attractive young woman in maintenance overalls, though thoroughly panicked at the moment. Sweat plasters her hair to her forehead, and her hands shake with fear. It... it's hopeless. I can't fix it in time. We're ruined. Who's there? Wreckers. Please don't kill. Oh, Rangers. You're here. Finally, some good news. Well, I'm glad somebody thinks we're here as being good. I knew you'd show up. I knew Bergen was wrong about you. And you must have chased off those wreckers or you wouldn't be down here. Well, that's Crisis 1 solved anyway. Only Crisis 2 and Crisis 3 to go. Lovely. Uh, what do you think of Bergen? Bergen's good at his job, but I don't think he'd make a, go a good mayor. He's got no, no diplomacy. People kind of hate him as soon as they meet him. Yeah, I can agree with that assessment. Mm-hmm. And he's so twisted up about the rangers that he wants us to start asking the Red Scorpions for protection instead. I can't let that happen. Those guys are gangsters, plain and simple. How do you feel about the desert rangers? No time for questions. We'll talk once I fix the system. Alright, then what's Crisis 2? 
Crisis number two is the rest of the wrecking crew. They're like weeds. If you don't tear them up by the roots, they'll come back stronger than ever. I've been asking Ranger Sunnydale for months to find their camp and get rid of them. And nothing ever gets done. Well, we're kind of pressed for people, I think, is the problem. If you want us to keep sending you water, you've got to get these guys off our backs. Permanently. But that'll have to wait until Crisis 3 is sorted out. Um, when did the trouble with the wrecking crew start? No time for questions. Okay. Well, then, what's, what's Crisis 3? Crisis 3 is right here and right now. I should be up top at the moment, trying to convince everybody to make me the new mayor, but our irrigation system is about to blow sky high. Voting's gotta wait, otherwise High Pool's gonna go straight down the drain. Ah, uh, what happened? Oh, I scrolled up or something there. I'm not sure what happened. Oh, here we go. Those damn wreckers lobbed a bomb over the wall that shook up our irrigation system and busted the pressure regulator. It also shorted out half our electri electrical system, and we've only got enough juice to keep a few lights on at a time. Killed the radio, too. I'm using the backup system to let off some of the pressure, but it's building too fast. If something isn't done very soon, we'll lose all our water and all our topsoil in one big bang. Are you here to help? Well, yes. Uh, actually. Hmm. What's the problem with the lights? If we turn on too many lights at one time, the whole electrical system will shut down, and I won't be able to control the pressure at all. It'll blow in seconds. Oh, okay. Um, what will happen to the water? If the system blows, all the water will drain out of our reservoir at once. It'll be dry for months. The whole region will go thirsty. And the topsoil? When the water drains from the reservoir, it's going to flood our fields and take all our topsoil with it. Those wreckers already burned our current crops to the ground. If we lose the soil, too, we won't be able to grow our, grow our own food for years. Uh, what happened to the mayor? Poor Mayor Vickstrom got killed on one of the walls yesterday, and now we got to vote for a new mayor. I, I don't really want to replace Vickstrom, but if I don't stand, nobody else will, and Sean Bergen will get the job. That would be a disaster. You're voting now? Well, as soon as things settle down, we'll have a show of hands in the town square. If you can help me solve all these crises, I think I've got a good chance of winning. And you'll have a pro-ranger mayor here. If Bergen gets voted in, well, Highpool will be even less friendly to the excited old than it already is. Well, what do you want us to do? First, I need you to head into the complex. Look for four release valves and open them so the water can flow. Then all you have to do is come back here and open the bypass valve over there on the other side of the room. That will stabilize the pressure in the system and return things to normal. Got it? Good. I think we got it. Also, one of your crew will have to stay back here at the circuit breaker and turn on and off lights as you go. Take a look at the control panel on the wall. It'll show you which rooms are receiving water and power. I'm afraid we have emergency airlocks that close shut when the power is out, so you won't even be able to get into the rooms without power. Okay. All right, well, thank you. Great. Head out and find those valves. I'll track your progress from the readouts up here. Okay, so who's going to stay behind? Well, let's call in first. Copy, Echo One. Echo One, your recent progress. Congratulations, Echo One. All right. Well, hmm. let's do assault rifles and mechanical repair. Okay, let's go ahead and save it. Now, who gets to stay behind? <laughs> I'm thinking... Ivy's a, 
are, well, we're going to need possibly traps and, ah, oh, June bug. Well, let's hope we don't, I think June bug's probably the best person to leave behind at this point. So, how do I do that? Okay. Can I select? There we go. Select the rest of the guys. Right. Okay. Doesn't really show a you are here. Okay, no, but these are numbered, right? One and two. So that's one. This is where we are. That's two. Okay. So let's let's start with one actually. You guys. You go here. Might as well go in order. So room one needs power. Oh, I see. This one has power because it's got a little uh, glow on it. Okay. All right, June bug. Now that these are numbered. So this one has power now. Okay, so let's go back to these guys. Yeah, this is gonna be a little annoying doing this. But I like the method in Divinity Original Sin where you can separate into two groups. Uh and you don't have to keep selecting which guys are there. But that's okay. I suppose there's... There might be... I wonder if there is a way to do that, and I just don't know about it. There could be. You don't know what the machines in this room do, but they sure make a lot of noise doing it. Okay. Oh, great. Um, could you shoot that, please? What do we got? We got a, a cockroach the size of a city. What kind of fool gets in a fight with someone whose last name is Death? Oh. There are three of them. Four of them. She didn't tell me about the monster cockroaches. Alright, well, we might as well... You you have a nail board. Excellent. 61% chance. Alright. Can you hit that guy? Okay, good job. You have three points left. Might as well evade its bite. Okay. Oh, I want you to move there, please. Thank you. Uh, do you not... Yeah, Valentine doesn't actually have a bleated weapon yet. Even though she has the skill. No, she doesn't have the skill either. Eh, yeah, punch it. I said punch it, Val. Alrighty. This is ID. Uh, no. Definitely not. Is that empty? Okay, we're gonna have to make sure that she reloads that later. In the meantime, let's put her here. Oh. 
Okay, crouch. Well, I guess... No, I'll, we'll just uh, skip her turn. Okay, um, Angela. Smack him. Good job! Squish that bug! Can you squish him again? You didn't squish him again. Ouch. Oh, those things bite hard. Alrighty. Oh, really? Ah. Oh, Bl the blade doesn't do anything. Oh, crap. Okay, I didn't realize that. Okay. Yeah, that one did hurt, Angela. Please hit these stupid things. One hit point left. Really? Good, you hit it. But not twice. Good job, Val. Alrighty, let's end your turn. Gonna have to use a med kit or something after this. Fifty-one percent. Really? Thank you. Okay. Good job. Okay, Val, please hit the bug. Alright. Man! Those things are awful. I'm gonna have to use the pain pills there. No, so that's gonna select. It'll select her too. We don't want that. Okay.
Really? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not having a good day here. All right, everybody come here. I mean, the door's open, so you can come with us, and we're just going to have to use up the bed kit that we just got. That sucks. Oh, well. It's been one of those days, you know? Poor rangers. Yeah, heal bow, please. Twenty six, okay. Yeah. We just can't afford it. I mean, not to, to heal up. Because we're too far from leveling. Alright, so who's our person who's going to cause the thing to explode? That would be you. Okay. Let's go in there and explode it. Because <laughs> you just know it's gonna. Really? Well, I am shocked. I thought for sure it would explode. You know, I might go back and talk to that guy because, I mean, there has to be something wrong. There was no way that those med kits were like 300 each. Really? I have to go double check. Because we need them so bad. Um, alright, so I guess that's Val. Well, that's, a, that's safe. That would be you. Oh, nice. A snow globe. Necklace. Alright, so is there anything else in this room that we can look at? Do anything with? Okay, so... What have we got here? Okay, so it just looks like some kind of storage tanks or something. And we can't go that way, so... Obviously, we need to go this way. We do have a door here. Ah, so this is where we'd have to have somebody go back and open the door. But we can't have too many on at a time. Alright, could everybody reload, please? Thank you. Okay, let's go out. I have to go back to the, the shopkeeper. And recheck those okay, packs. I had to have read that wrong. I had to have. The look of this place does not inspire poetry. A steam-choked, low-ceiling room crowded with pipes, gauges, and control panels. From somewhere within the clouds of steam, you can hear sobs of frustration. That's pretty much my party today. They should be sobbing with frustration. 
a 5% chance, a 5% chance of critical failure, and you critically fail. What? We have failed more today than we have succeeded, which sucks. Alright, so wh where is the general store? Right here. Let's get over here, guys. I had to have read that wrong. It just does not make any sense. Let's talk to this guy. Sorry about that. Uh, a sneeze attacked me. Out of the blue, it ambushed me. What can I do for you now? I'm not sure what kind of meat this jerky is, but if I sell it cheap, those jubies might go for it. Yeah, they're, they're hats. Go ahead and give it to them. Right, so... They're 20 each. It was 300 total for all of them. I did read it wrong. Okay, I feel a little bit more relieved now. Basic trauma kit. Okay, so that's 475 for 12 of them. I would like to buy a few more of these, but 120. Okay, so if we now say sell all the junk that we picked up I want to hang on to that because I I I don't want to sell this there we go okay do not want to sell that I hope that I didn't just sell it. No, okay. Okay, so pay 384. Let's do that. Alright, this makes me feel a little bit better. I was getting a little worried. So, okay, good, they did stack. And now, does he have any suture kits? I didn't actually notice. Hi, right, we're here to trade again. I didn't notice what you just said, and it doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, right. Yeah, that's the trauma kits. You didn't ha don't have any suture kits. Okay. This. This jerkly looks like long pig. I think I can move them at half off. Bye now. Tell your friends. Alrighty then. Alright, now we can go back. And to here. Yes, please. Now, of course... Ah, oh, just thinking. I don't really want to leave Angela behind because, well, she's got not good shooting skills. But maybe we can... We just may have to have him come back periodically, I guess. Go over here. Alright, you guys. What? What is this? Did I drop things by accident? Or I didn't loot these guys. I guess I didn't loot these guys.
Alrighty. What have we got? Cockroach antennas. Take all of them. We can have sold those. Alright. Alright, so this is... Angela Death said, keep your eyes open down here. Could be anything running around in the dark. Alright, so... I want you to open number three. Number three... And so now you can join the group. Right? Oop, where am I? There. Here she comes. Okay, I'm going to save the game here. Uh, because if our guys get locked down here, like all of us, I don't know if she will be a, the uh, NPC there will let us out and we'll have to start over or if we just be toast <laughs> because we're stuck. The smell of mold and mildew in here is so thick you find it hard to breathe. All the junk on the floor is rotting away before your eyes. Still, there might be something of value in there. You never know. Just looking around to see if we have any interesting thingies. I don't... All the boxes read Bet Betamax. The entertainment technology of the future. Ha 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 ha. What's this? A pre-war cellular phone in pristine condition. How in the world did they manage to shrink a phone to the size of a brick? <laughs> I remember those. Never had one, but I remember them. Mostly from TV shows. A box full of little black oblongs with buttons all over them. Ancient words of power are printed on the buttons. F, F, F. Rewind, play, and mute. Oh! <laughs> Tape recorders. That's funny. We can't actually get down. Well, not from up here. We can't get down there, but I don't even know if we need to get down there. So we got this going this way. Oh, okay. So we kind of see where it join up, joins up. So this is power section two. That's six. And over here is three. Three is open. But these other two are shut. All right, well, let's go to three then. We're just going to do a quick look and see if we notice anything down here. Let's go here as well. Just check. Well, I heard a little noise. I don't know what it was from, though. Little, you know, um, you found something kind of thingy. Oh, what's this? Oh, something else to explode us. But now we have some... Oh, did you healing potions. All right, let's... June fog Bug finds a working tumbler. 
That would be your job. Safe cracking. Alright, uh, let's give that one to you this time. And some stuff. Take that. Eh, cockroaches. Alrighty, so let's go this way. Ranger Citadel, this is Kathy Lawson at Ag Center again. Where the fuck are you bastards? We're dying here! Kathy, this is General Vargas. Now, uh, keep cool and listen. The only team I have near you is already answering an emergency call at Highpool. But I put out a general call for assistance in your area. Now, hopefully some citizen... Are you fucking kidding me? You picked those rain collectors over us? Have fun starving to death, assholes! Don't you understand what we're going through here? We've fallen back to the lobby, but we've got fruit flies as big as bulldogs dive-bombing us everywhere we go. And Matt Forrestal took some kind of exploding sea pod full in the face. He's a goddamn wreck! Kathy, please, just hold on. We're doing the best. Fuck you, Vargas. We don't need your goddamn sweet talk. We need help. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kathy. <clears throat> I can't be in two places at once. Okay. Well. I have a feeling that opening this one is going to cause the... Uh, whole thing to shut down, but we'll find out, I guess. It's, oh, that's not the way I need to go. We need to go to here. Right. Not, oh, dang it, not everybody. Stop, stop. 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 Everybody, get here. Come here. Come here. You. Go there. Everybody else. I knew I'd do that. Go back here, please. Number four. Okay, so we'll try turning on number four. If the rest of the party, yeah, they're back where they're supposed to be. Okay. So I think you can now join the other guys. Okay, now select everybody. So she should be able to come here. Okay, so we have three of them on now. And I like how it's showing on the map. I think it's showing which ones are on. But it might also be showing just the areas, so... We'll find out, I guess. Alright. Looks like this used to be the engineering room for the cistern. There are workbenches and metal working machines all around, and the shelves are full of spare parts. In one corner sits a table and littered with cigarette butts and empty bottles. Okay, so it looks like there's no bugs in here to. Oh! This might be one of the things we're looking for. Hey, Rangers, this is in the water control room. The board just put up a new water flow, so I'm guessing you got a valve open. Great work. There's only three more in the complex, so you're 25% of the way there already. Well, awesome. As the wheel clanks counterclockwise, water begins to flow through the pipe. 
It's got a leak too. Alrighty. Okay, let's look at some of these things. If it weren't for the medical symbols, this would look like the kind of cooler you take to the beach. Might it contain some healthful items? I, yeah. My guys here don't know that, but I'm pretty sure that's a donation can container. Like, body part donation. Somebody's made a little fort out of matchsticks amidst the bottles. They must have been very bored. Can we see that? No, I can't see that. Okay. A crate! Maybe there's treasure? A crate. Alright. Um. Alrighty, Val. I guess we'll send you over to open these. Aha! That one's okay. More. Let's give that list to Angela. And let's give that to Junebug. Anti-venom. And another med kit. Awesome. Okay. Hey, healing supplies. I wonder if we're going to need them. <laughs> Alrighty, let's look at the map here. Let's see where this goes. Vargas, this is Kathy Lawson. Can you hear me? Go ahead, Kathy. I'm reading you loud and clear. Please, Vargas. I'm sorry I shouted at you. Please, send somebody. Matt is dying, and there's there's no more ammo, and I... I, I <laughs> it's got nothing to do with you shouting, Kathy. There, there's just nobody to send. My crew are dealing with the crisis in Highpool as quick as they can. If you can just hold on a little while longer. How long is a little while? Shit! They're coming in again! Shoot them! Kathy? Kathy, are you there? Uh-oh. Ranger Citadel calling Ag Center. Do you read me? That's not good. Ag Center, come in! I think we just lost Ag Center. Ah. <sighs> Alrighty. So this is section seven. Looks like it connects up to the thing here. Alright. Well, I think what I'm going to do, I think this is an appropriate point at which to pause. So let's go ahead and do A save. I'd like to thank everybody for watching and I hope you enjoyed the stream. As bad luck, much bad luck as my group seemed to have today. <sighs> Let's hope the next day is a little better. I will be streaming again with uh, Wasteland 2 on Thursday. I'll be streaming it Thursday night. And at 8 o'clock, MDT. I hope to see you there. You all take care now. Take care. I mean it. Take care. Not like these guys. These guys keep blowing crap up. Don't do that. You hear me? Take care of yourself. Bye. <laughs>